8 of 4 not fulfilling a former friend's dying wish. This is an absolute shit show. But here it goes 10 years ago. Husband 40 meters I 35 F had a falling out with a formerly close friend 33 F and her husband 35 meters. It was acrimonious due to multiple reasons due to character limit I cannot post the backstory, but it involved her mental health her lashing out at us multiple times. Despite us trying to talk it out have a civil friendship. We sort of faded from each other's lives she blocked me on social media, etc. Recently. Her husband contacted us said she was dying from cancer. It was admittedly upsetting to hear that. He asked if we could have a zoom call with her as she wanted to talk to us. Husband I agreed. After some small talk she started saying that her last wish was for us husband I to apologize to her for a list of crimes that she felt we had committed against her showed that we were not really sincere in our friendship side note she did this entire list thing 10 years ago. It included how when she was depressed she should not need to tell us that she was depressed because real friends know this time around this list included how even though she blocked us we never made an attempt to contact her or her husband how we stopped inviting them for group gatherings this social group removed them since they were never active to begin with how we did not congratulate their marriage we did not know since she blocked us how we never accepted her apology which consisted of I'm sorry you feel that way, but I was depressed you guys should know since now I'm 2583. Is depressed too. I told her bluntly that I will not apologize for those crimes. Her husband tried to explain that it would make her feel better, but I said that she is just being unreasonable again. He agreed with me, but asked if I would deny her final wish. I clarified if her dying wish was to humiliate Anne. Falsely accuse me my husband again. He remained silent. I asked him if he really thinks we were in the wrong he said no. But it would give her comfort. I told him not at our expense left the call. My husband is trying to get me to change my mind. Because would you want this regret for the rest of your life I don't think I will. But I do feel torn. Because we were really close at one point of our lives. Edit some of you have been rightfully asking. If she is really dying, in my opinion, there is no reason for her to lie since she did a good job not talking to me for the past 10 years. I have told my husband he is welcome to apologize if he wishes, but I will not be partaking in this nonsense again. As for her husband, he has always told his wife she was being unreasonable, but conceded to her every wish, whether or not he agreed to it to keep her happy. Oh my god absolutely NTA. Being sick does not entitle her to an apology that you are justifiably unwilling to give. It honestly sounds like she is using her illness as a way to one-up you to get what is she wants. Also, who makes a list of crimes for other people to apologize to you for? That is a level of conceitedness I would not know how to deal with. Whatever reason you stopped being friends with her, I'm sure it was a good one. You do not owe her anything. And you should not feel bad about not meeting her demands. The list of crimes is totally bizarre. Sh subset OP did not read her mind and effectively stalked the friend after she blocked OP. Chances are if OP had continued trying to talk to the friend she would have blown up about that. I was friends with this girl online once. She was moving abroad with her boyfriend and decided that she was gonna cut contact with everyone before leaving BC it would be painful. Many tears were shed, but I respected her decision and didn't write anything, because that is what she wanted right. Well wrong. Apparently she was upset that I didn't even ask her how she was settling in her new place. I was dumbfounded. This and many many more reasons is why I'm not friends with her anymore. NTA. While it is a sad situation, you do not owe her a coerced apology. How very traumatic for everyone involved. But she brought this on herself. Do you think this is just another head game? And she is not really terminal. I'm not sure if she is really terminal. But I honestly do not think she had fake it. Since she made it 10 years not speaking to us. Because of what she did before which she obviously still blames us for. There is a reason why you didn't he speak to her for 10 years. Probably best to continue that route regardless of her terminal condition. Terminal illness does not entitle the friend to any type of closure especially where you would have to lie in order to make her feel better. NTA. Cold and tea say it better than you already have I clarified if her dying wish was to humiliate me and my husband again. That's exactly what she's doing. 
and dying doesn't he give her the right to be an R. Dying wishes don't he get free reign. If she asked you to pay all her medical bills, you could should still say number she s being ridiculous. NTA. Okay I do not know what it is like to be dying. But she wants you to stand there and apologize to you for all these crimes. Which are all in her head. Maybe I'm a sadist. But I would sit there with popcorn laughing my head off while she martyrs herself and then give a long list of the times she has pissed you off and see her response. You owe her nothing, and to be honest, if this is her dying wish, then she is really pathetic. Absolutely NTA. Do not you dare let her make you regret not apologizing for things you did not do. This is a horrible situation she put you in. And honestly she did it, because either way she feels like she will win. Either she gets to let you feel guilty for the rest of your life, or she gets to humiliate you and feel smug for the rest of hers. The only thing you can do is know that you were a friend to her and her perception of you does not need to be your truth of yourself. NTA she is clearly a narcissist and looking to feel better before she dies. Maybe years of real therapy would get her to a more reasonable state, but she does not have the time. So she is trying to assuage her guilt and shame by pinning it on you. It is entirely up to you and your belief system what you do, but you have no responsibility for her state of mind. NTA. Her being sick both with cancer and depression is not a free pass for being controlling and manipulative. Because that s exactly what s she s doing. And you guys clearly recognize that in her behavior hence the relationship's current state. It boggles my mind. How when someone is dying. Especially if they harbor some of the traits your old friend does most people think that that person deserves whatever they ask for. The sad and real truth is, they don't e. Especially if the request is unreasonable. Such as this. NTA. What is this? Emotional blackmail fire cancer. She has no reason to expect these things from you. And dying is not an excuse to make unreasonable demands. Turns out her blocking you was the best possible thing she could have done. Too bad she did not stick with it. NTA. Why would you lie to a dying person? She is already convinced that you committed crimes. She doesn't he need you to confirm her false narrative. If it s piece you find in dying, well then let the time be near. Dying doesn't he give you a pass to continue to treat people horribly. Any person who makes a list of grievances and then tells someone to ask for forgiveness is not right in the head. She sounds like an awful person and she will die an awful person. It s harsh but it s the truth and OP shouldn't he have to bend to her will so she can die feeling she was in the right. OP take this as closure and close that chapter of your life. You owe that woman nothing. NTA. NTA. Dying does not absolve you of the bad shit you did in the past. I was no contact when my dad died and people were constantly telling me I would regret it blah blah blah. I did finally go to hospice once he fell into a coma bc my mom was terrified I would regret not showing up, but I did it for her. But because I actually felt guilty, if she did not have an effect on your daily life before she passed her death is not going to change much, as harsh as that sounds. NTA. The fact that she had her husband contact you guys so she could ask realistically demand that you to apologize for issues she caused in your guys relationship with her because of her own mental health issues really shows how toxic and manipulate she truly is even when dying this is most likely for her to prove to herself before she dies that she has never done anything wrong in her life and it is always everyone else's fault she is a victim in her own eyes and always will be NTA. I feel like this is similar to the whole idea where people are expected to only say good things of the dead. If that person was awful to you, then you have no obligation to remember them fondly or even half-ass your way through a posthumous compliment. To be honest, her doing this as she is dying speaks to the kind of person she is. I would personally not want to spend what may be the last few months of life trying to get an apology from someone. I would simply forgive them for my own sake and fizz if I felt that strongly about it. If the past experiences from the friendship you used to have are something you value, then it may be worthwhile for you to simply apologize to have a little closure. As a side note, this sounds like an awful predicament for the husband to be in. It sounds like she still 
has some mental health concerns that have not successfully treated. It is an unfortunate situation, but you are an TA. I wonder if you did this for her, if it would even resolve the situation for her. I do not think she is fully dealing with reality. NTA. Dying wishes are not automatically sacred. If her dying wish was for you to jump off the Brooklyn Bridge or to walk naked to the supermarket and put the video on YouTube are you obligated to do it? Number her dying wish does not come at the expense of your integrity. NTA. I can t imagine. Being so close to death and choosing to no pun intended. Die on that hill. What a miserable waste of your last moments. To pursue a guilted apology from friends from your past. When she passes you might feel guilty. Please know it s the morning. And not true remorse. You didn't do anything wrong. NTA. The whole idea of a dying wish is for the dying person to relieve their conscience. And apologize to people they've done wrong. It s not about guilt tripping others into apologizing for something they didn't he do wrong in the first place. You apologizing to her won't he help her in the slightest. She needs to face her own shortcomings and apologize to others. In lots of cases, changing their mind so drastically has helped cancer patients go on a path of remission. NTA. I had a friend like that. Screw her. He sounds evil and crazy and manipulative. Good thing you do not have to deal with her anymore. She will die as she lived. In her own little crazy world of self-importance and denial. I'm sure she is very happy with that. NTA she was an R then. And she is an R now. Maybe even more so. If she pulls crap like this. Probably with everyone she knows. Too. So, it would be interesting to know the of people who caved to her. Because of the dying thing. And how many tell her to pound sand for who she actually is. Do not let the R's win. NTA. Here is a phrase I have had to use more than once. An asshole with cancer is still an asshole. Yes it's incredibly sad that she is dying. I lost my best friend to cancer and I do not wish it on anyone. Even really evil people. I have also known a couple of assholes with cancer. One survived and is still an asshole. The other one died an asshole. She does not get a pass on her ashlery because she is dying. She would have got a pass if she acknowledged that you were not responsible for her mental health induced ashlery and apologized to you. However, she doubled the duck down. She is trying to justify her shitty actions before she dies instead of atoning for them. She is trying to find peace by proving to herself she was right all along. She has no right. She is a narcissist and she is using her illness to reach out and have one last go at making you feel bad. She is probably being eaten up inside by the fact that she did not win this one. You are probably not the only one. She is probably settling scores with a bunch of people. Do not fall for it. You reacted properly. NTA. NTA. I would not do this as it would mean I spend the rest of my life regretting having debased myself and accepted blame for something I did not do in order to please someone who albeit dying is very petty. I assure you that this will not simply be an accepting of your apology. The petty dying woman would use this as an opening to point out what a horrible person you are and how great she was in cutting you off. Step away from so subtle natural inclination to give dying people a pass to look at the core of your ex-friend. What she is showing you as she is facing G the end her life is truly the person she is and has been all along. She is entitled to want closure. Wanting does not mean she gets it. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.